everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So for this week's Sunday Surprise, I'm going to show you how to make these open diorama cards. I actually made these during a really lovely craft along. There was 10 of us and it was a competition win. So I showed everybody how to make this card. So what I mean by open diorama is I wanted to be able to create a scene but have the swinging elements and I didn't want them to be restricted within that area because usually when you make a diorama, this is solid, but I've opened it up. So it means that you can have your little characters or whatever you have swinging you know, really nicely and they can swing outside of the card. So you can see this one here is using, this was the swing collection that I launched uh, about six to, six to eight weeks ago and it's using the characters there and it's that jungle scene. And then this one is using my recent Fun at the Fair collection. So I've taken elements of the three different Fun at the Fair rides and I've built up this scene here and again you can see on the back, this one's actually got acetate on it as well, but all of those pieces swing you can kind of just see it through the top there. It looks really nice from the front. The acetate on this does really stabilise it. This one still works really well, but I, I think it I think it looks nice as well with the acetate, but it's entirely up to you. And then, of course, you've got all your space on the back and they do fold flat. I've added this top piece. Without, that will fit into a 6x6 six six envelope. I mean, that will go into a bouncy envelope you know, pretty well, if not one of my box envelopes, and I'll pop that up now. But this one I have made bigger, so I pop it in one of my 7x7 seven seven or 8x8 eight eight box envelopes. So let me show you how to make them. So I'm going to make another circus-themed one today, but if you have the older swing collection here, I use the paper pad, so the swing card jungle scenes, and then I used the orangutan and then the chimp on the two stamps that's there so it's the just chilling and hanging around and then these are the flowers and the the leaves there and you can see i've just built that all up and then i've used the sentiment just hanging around which is this one here and then on the back i've added the little signpost there as well i also then took the swinging elements from the swing set and that's what i've added inside there so again those of you that have that that's how i done that one but for today, I'm going to use the circus theme. So this is what the Sunday surprises are about. It's about how you can mix and match my collections together, but you can also make other fun fold cards with them as well. So it's just giving you more inspiration. So this is the paper pad I've used. This is the fun at the fair paper pad, and I'm taking the balloons again. So it's, it's going to be pretty much the same as this one in terms of the decoration. I really like that paper, and I think it worked quite well um, with the cardstock that I chose. I'm not using anything from the swing boat, but I wanted to show this one because one of the ladies in the craft along, she used this die here for the, because I'm actually going to use the baskets here from the chair swing. But if you don't have this set and you have the boat, then take these ones here and use them as your strips. And then you can add your basket, just, you know, cut a rectangle shape and you can build that up that way. So that's why I just wanted to show that one. But I'm taking the basket here and then also the top there, the tent top, and then this die, and you can see I've created that. So anybody who's got the chair swing, you know how to put it together anyway. They're the pieces I'm using. And then, did I use anything from that one? No, I didn't, but that's the Ferris wheel. And then there's the sentiment. So I've just taken different stamped images and the sentiment there as well. I've got this square from my own stash. I'll give you the sizes to that in a minute. So anybody can make this card shape, but if you've got any of my made to surprise that I'm using, then obviously you can follow and uh, make it pretty similar to mine. So I've got a template here. So you want two pieces of six by ten and a half cardstock. So I've already done one there. So with this one, you're going to score along the ten and a half side. Bring it up so you can see both. You're going to score at six inches and then every half an inch. So six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half and ten okay then you want to pop it on its short side with all of those score lines at the top and you're now going to do these two lines here they're actually going to be cut lines as well but it's i just like scoring it first so you're going to score it three quarters of an inch down to that first score line so to the six inch score line so all the way down and then at five and a quarter all the way down Again, you'll do that on two pieces. We're now going to cut all of that section out. So if I bring this one in, you can see exactly what we're removing there. I've already put the concertina fold in them, but you can see that whole section that we're removing. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And then if you want to just fold it in over on that six inch score line, okay, 
and then I'm going to grab, I'll use these scissors here. So I'm going to cut down those three quarter inch score lines that you just made. Like so. And then you can fold those away from you and then you can just cut that piece out. Okay, next you want to decide what's going to be the front and the back. So the back one I'm going to have here with all of this on the left hand side. This is going to be the front one and I've got everything on the right hand side. Now don't do the concertina fold yet because you want to cut your aperture. But first of all, you want to stick your pattern paper down. So I'm going to just stick the front. So that's this one here and this is five and three quarters squared. And then this piece is five and three quarters square, but this is for the back. But you don't want to stick the back one down yet because we want to stick the tabs on first and then stick this over. So then everything's nice and neat. So you just want to stick your front one down first of all. OK, next I'm going to die cut this square. Now you can have any shape if you've got circles. If you've got the swing collection in the set there, you have the circle and also the decorative aperture there so you can use those but I'm going to use this one here so the measurements are it is just over four and a half it's about four and five eighths of an inch squared four and a half would be fine but I'm going to sit that in the middle here I'm just going to tape it down and run that through my die machine okay so I've just taken that one away now I've used the cloud glue so that is going to start to once that dries completely it's going to become nice and strong but I am now going to add the acetate behind so this is a piece of five and three quarters squared and I'm going to stick that behind here and that's going to bring back that stability again to this piece so it's completely optional but I do think it looks quite nice OK, so that's all in place. And now we want to add the folds to these pieces here. So you want to fold both of them in and then fold back on the next score line and then forward, back, forward, back, forward, back and then finish with it facing forward. So I'm going to hold that up and I'm going to go through it again. So you're folding it in so it's a mountain. And you want to end with a mountain. So this piece is facing inside the card. So again, it's folded down. And then folding back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And again, finishing with it facing forward. And you want to do exactly the same on the other piece. OK, so I've got both pieces there. So this is the front piece. So this is facing out to the right. This is facing out to the left. Flip this one over now. And you want to add glue to the bottom of both of these. And do one at a time. Just add the glue there and then the fold here is going to go right to the edge and then you're going to fold it. You're basically sticking it right up in that top corner and then this one. Down in that bottom corner. And just fold them down and you'll see your card, how it's going to fold flat. And that's the dimension. It's about a quarter of an inch the thickness that you're going to have of that card okay now you can stick down your pattern piece so you can see it's just going to disguise those tabs so they're not so visible so i'm just going to again add the glue again using the clear all-purpose so that's just going to start to strengthen the back and by the time i add another mat and layer to the very back for my area for my message it's just going to strengthen it even more OK, now you want to start adding in your kind of supports along the top and the bottom. So you want six pieces that are three quarters of an inch by five and seven eighths. So I'm going to add my glue onto the first kind of. So you've got your mountain fold, your first piece that comes in here, this mountain. You're going to add the glue to that piece there again on that side. And I'm just going to sit that over the top there. And again, over that one. And again, just make sure it runs nice and flush with the card. And because it's the same width as these concertina pieces, it will fit nicely in between them there. OK, so if I just hold that up, you can see now we've got this little gap. And that's where you can start to have the first things swinging. And then you just want to repeat that on the bottom one so again just fold 
that first one in and then just sit that piece over the top. Okay, next you want to die cut, if you've got the swing collection, you want to die cut this one here. Again, it's from this set, so it's this die. Just fold it in half, add your glue and just fold it in half so you've got a piece like that. So if you don't have this die set, you just want to cut yourself a piece that looks like this and punch a hole at the bottom. The size, the width is entirely up to you because everyone's going to have different things to hang on to theirs. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this behind this strip and just kind of hover this piece so you can see whereabouts you want that to go so i'm just going to take my glue so you just want to make sure that you've got you've got enough space hanging down there it's about about three eighths of an inch squared kind of hanging down there with a hole punched in the middle but you can see now that's going to fit there quite nicely so i'm just going to use my brads and i'm going to use the red ones here so i'm just going to pop that through and then I'm just going to open it up again just like I showed you in the other video so just use a pokey tool to kind of open it up if you can see any of your split pin you can always cut them as well so I'm just going to snip those pieces so now I can see that that hangs really nicely and swings I would also then suggest that you start sticking down you know your character because again you're going to start building up on top of this so I'm going to pop the little badger here so i'm just going to pop some glue on the bottom part i'll add the little like treats on them in a moment but you can see now just i just like adding as much as i can it just then helps me plan everything else out so that's all in place so next you're going to bring the next mountain in and you're going to add your glue onto that one if you want to have more hanging on this back piece and just you know make more of these pieces you could have three all along the back there and build up you can stick you know i was sticking the leaves onto them along the bottom as well for me on these this style the bottom is more just there to again stabilize the card but i'm just going to now add another strip across and then just fold the other one on top and that's just going to make sure everything is always nice and flat and do the same again on the bottom Okay, and then I'm going to have two now on the back of this second strip. So it's the badger and the, the pig there. So again, I've got these. So I'm just going to add the glue. I can see roughly where I need that to go. So that one can go in there. I've just got the same amount hanging down again. Okay, and just pop that one. I'm just laying them there just so I can make sure... I'm happy with the placement, but that looks good to me. And then I'm going to grab my brads again, get those attached and add the little critters as well. And then again, folding in that next mountain, popping the glue, and you're going to lay down the last of those strips on the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to finish with the last two and they're going to go just about there. So you can see I've got them all staggered. So I'm just going to lay that one there again just attach these add the brads and pop the little critters in so that's everything stuck down there i've also added their little treats they've got a little flag and popcorn and things now if you forget to stick anything down here and you, we you know you've already then closed it up you can still get in the side and you can swing things out and you can still add to them so you know don't think that once it's all stuck down there's no way of adding more because you can do now on this one here, I also added this panel here, but I think I'm going to add it onto the very front this time. It kind of gets a bit lost. So that's all I'm going to do for this piece now. So I'm going to add my glue to the top of this one and also this one. And then I'm just going to close the card up. And again, you want to stick them right up into the top and bottom corners of the card and just push it down. And you'll see everything fit within that six by six size. Okay, then I've got this piece that I'm going to stick along the top here. So I'm just going to use some foam for that. And then I'm going to stick that one over the top. So again, I'm going to add the foam like so. And then I'm going to attach the sentiment at the top. And then I'm just going to decorate the bottom a little bit with just some of the ticket stubs. From the paper pad and some of the stamped images from the sentiment stamp okay 
and there's the finished card so i just added these are just like i said the stamps from the sentiment stamp set that goes with the fun at the fair and that's from the paper pad sentiment at the top there and you can see if i hold it this way they all swing really nicely and you can just about see i can't lie it down because they just don't they don't go right but you can see they've got a really good swing to them and then when it obviously all stops it looks really lovely displayed so you've got all that space so i would just do a five and three quarter by five and three quarter pattern piece or like a nice color that matches the front and then do a piece of five and a half by five and a half in white and you can stamp on that in the middle as well and then you've got that all ready to write your message so i've just brought the jungle one back in there as well just so you can see it in a different style so you know it works with any stamps and dies that you have you can create any scene you want with this style especially if it's swinging i just I want to show you different ways to use the dies when you buy them. They're not just a one hit wonder. You don't have to just use them for how they're meant to be. I will continue to share new ways and uh, keep you inspired. So I hope you've enjoyed this idea from me today. I will link everything in the description box below as always. There'll be more tutorials popping up now if you want to go and watch one of those next. And if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed today, if you hit the subscribe button, click the little bell that's just next to it. And then that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye.